Hello YouTube, this is Magnolia Mo and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss how to connect uh, an AV receiver to an outboard or to a power amplifier using the, the RCA pre-outs uh, that you may have on your receiver. All right, so let's get on with it right after this. I'll start with the, the with the Pioneer Elite uh, just to show you even the older receivers have this capability uh, and and then you know we'll, 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 we'll get into the 3800 right after that. So here's my old Pioneer Elite receiver <clears throat> it's the VSX uh, 52 Old Faithful uh, it's got PHX you know Dolby True HD DTS Master Audio but the, the key part is it has <clears throat> the the pre-outs and it has a speaker on off button that you can that you can just select to turn off all the speakers and it becomes a preamp right and then here in the back <clears throat> this is what i've been using for years is you got your all of your pre-outs right here your front uh front left right your two subwoofers center and then you surround surround backs and then the front heights and in the front wides right so so this is no different from uh, any of these new receivers that we have on the market today they'll all have uh, a set of uh, rca pre-outs and then they'll have your speaker jacks uh, same same principle as the x3800 for instance where where you can choose to forego your your front two channels left and right and then only make the connection to the rest of the speakers and then uh, and then go from there or you can connect all of your your pre-outs right into a uh, outboard power amplifier and then from the front of the 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 speaker receiver right here uh shut off the speakers and what that does is just you know helps the receiver concentrate on uh the audio and video processing only right so that's that's a simple simple way of doing it right? where basically you connect your your rca jacks into your power amplifier and don't make the connections here uh, and and then connect your rest of the speakers right into these speaker terminals uh, so that the receiver powers all the channels and then the power amplifier powers just the uh, the left and and the right so now how, how do we do this for the x3800 specifically let's find out all right so here's the back of the x3800 the denon x3800 um and uh, you see the 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 rca pre-outs uh, right above the speaker uh, terminals connecting connection terminals so so if you want to use this receiver um, as a preamp only you leave all of the speaker uh, connections off do not connect anything into the speaker connectors <clears throat> and then use the pre-outs the rca pre-outs to go into a power amplifier for all of your uh, you know, 11, 11 channels, right? So your seven bed layers, you know, and four height channels. And then obviously your, the four subwoofers are going to go into the individual subs. If you have up to four, you can connect up to four. Uh, but now, in, you know, in doing it this way, you can now use the Denon uh, as a, you know, in, in its pre-amplifier mode. Uh, and what you do is you go into the amp settings and select that. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, now, if you wanted to, to um, you know, use the X3800 speaker terminals and not use all the preouts. Uh, you can do that, and, and and what you you would need is a stereo amplifier. Um, you connect all your speakers right uh, from center surrounds uh, and your height speakers. You leave the front left and right off, um, and take the RCA pre preouts for your front right and left, uh, and go into the stereo power amplifier. Uh, that you would have bought to power your front left and right channels. The beauty of doing that is 
for music, stereo music, two channel music, you're gonna you're go really going to enjoy that uh, because the power amplifier is gonna drive your front channels the right way um, <clears throat> with all the power, right? So that so that this is option two. You can you know in this in this particular option within the amp uh, assign menu, uh, and I'm gonna show you take you there in just a second. Uh, but before I go there, this is here's another option. Uh, you would have you can uh, you can do a 5.4.6, so you can have six height speakers. But in, in that case, you're gonna have to connect your top middles into the surround back and uh, surround back left and right. So you forego your back surrounds, uh, but you get <clears throat> two additional height speakers, uh, right? But same principle, you connect your front left and right into the power amplifier. And then you connect your top middles. Uh, here's the amp, uh, amp assign mode. You know, in this particular mode, uh, this is the 11.1 channel mode. That's what you're going to select if you want to use only the front, left, and right uh, speakers. You have to go into a stereo amplifier uh, and you know, and and use the speaker terminals on your X3800. Uh, and then, if you want to use all of the the pre outs and go into an outboard amplifier, you would. You go into the the amp assign menu and assign preamplifier. All right. All right. So I hope you like this video, um, and and please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. As you know, I'm trying to grow this channel and uh, and trying to put out you know uh, content that that uh, everybody can benefit from. And I hope this video is something that you guys like and 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 hang in there with me. Uh, as I continue this journey. All right. So until next time, YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.